You know, it's driven Apple from the beginning. This compulsion to take incredibly powerful technology and make it completely, profoundly, and unbearably smug. We've designed a range of products so driven by ego and pretension that now us presenting a watch as some kind of revolutionary device seems, well, palatable in some way. Our utter control of your perceptions now suggests that you can't perceive a boundary between something useless and something useful. We're introducing an unparalleled level of technical innovation combined with a design that connects with the user at an intimate level. I would elaborate, but this is a profoundly meaningless statement. The watch has a sensor which detects a tosser's gaze and automatically activates the display. You see an organization of apps which can monitor your entirely pointless existence. You will notice that this device does not display the time. Magnifying the display until it shows a picture of a black person is fundamentally important. We have developed a whole new interface specific to the challenges associated with a device this small. The wheel of self-satisfaction fluidly zooms in and out of unnecessary content. It enables you to move things in two directions. It scrolls backwards as well as forwards. It also is the home button, so it does three things. Apps are designed to encourage banal and unsophisticated interaction. Smart replies and dictations allow you to reply quickly to your similarly dim-witted friends and colleagues. Glances let you swipe for information efficiently. Pressing the button directly beneath the wheel of self-satisfaction instantly brings up a screen of ethnically diverse strangers you could annoy in a range of new ways. And with digital touch, we have developed an incredibly idiotic new method of communication. You can annoy the hell out of someone just by tapping the screen. You can send a quick sketch of a cock and balls, or you can even share something as personal as the throbbing of your own clitoris. These are faceless methods of communication which basic human shame has until now inhibited rather than enabled. These apps all take advantage of the flexible retina display. It has been highly machined and polished by an expertly trained team of Taiwanese children. In addition to a wheel that moves both backwards and forwards, we had to invent other input technologies designed specifically for a product this useless. So as well as sensing touch, the display also senses force, recognizing not just your dissatisfaction at the product not functioning, but the level of that dissatisfaction. Tiny electrodes around the display recognize the difference between a tap and a press. The device then responds in the exact same way, rendering this distinction completely academic. For the first time, and with great intention, we've decided not just what you see, but also what you think and feel. We've designed a linear actuator that provides taptic feedback, which then goes directly to our marketing department. This taptic engine, combined with the audio feedback from our water-resistant speaker, means your every move will be monitored. At the heart of the watch is a custom-designed chip that integrates many American military technologies into one remarkably compact module, which is then completely encapsulated so you cannot tamper with it.
It is almost like miniaturizing the whole Pentagon surveillance system onto a single chip. The zirconia back has four sapphire lenses, infrared and visible light LEDs along with photo sensors monitor your pulse rate. Using its gyroscope and accelerometer and the GPS and Wi-Fi from your iPhone, the watch provides a comprehensive monitor of your daily activity. This allows it to take over complete control of your life and inform authorities where its demands are not met. The back crystal also houses a unique charging system, which you will be using at least five times daily. Completely sealed, it transfers almost no energy from the mains to the actual device. Apple Watch is incredibly over-engineered. It uses multiple technologies to complete simple tasks, making even timekeeping itself seem somehow intolerably pretentious. We have worked with sophists all over the world to help us understand how most counterintuitively to display the time. And this has profoundly informed our design. We know that getting you wearing something all day every day is the best way for us to sell more products, but we still weren't satisfied. That is why we have designed a range of unnecessary add-ons and personalization features. You can adapt and change the display until it accurately represents the emptiness inside your own brain. But personalization extends way beyond the interface. We have designed six ugly watch straps with a unique mechanism that we have patented which will allow us to charge exorbitant prices with a disregard that is born of egotism. The sports band is available in a range of garish colours. It is made from plastic and costs us almost nothing to produce. The leather loop comes in a soft quilted leather, just perfect for surrounding the wrist of the hand you use to masturbate yourself, taking the time in front of a large mirror to admire the look of this beautiful watch going up and down your penis. The supple, handcrafted modern leather buckle closes with a solid metal clasp, painfully catching the skin inside. The simple leather classic buckle we didn't innovate at all in the design of. And the stainless steel metal buckle is perhaps even less remarkable. By the time we got to designing this Milanese loop, the cocaine use at Apple headquarters had clouded our judgment to such an extent that we forgot to even include any form of clasp. And of course, we knew there are some people so unspeakably stupid, they buy everything we release, so we have released two distinct sizes of watch. We then separated these two sizes into three distinct collections, meaning we could sell these idiots six watches. The first, Apple Watch, you will notice looks exactly like the watch that we've shown in this advert. It is equally pointless, whichever strap you choose to wear it with. The sport collection looks, well, exactly the same. This is because it is. Apple Watch Edition is a gold version of the same shit watch. This is designed specifically with estate agents in mind. 
providing self-satisfied customers with overhyped and overpriced objects, well, that's always been our goal at Apple. In designing Apple Watch, though, I think you'll agree our brilliance truly has reached new levels. We have designed an object which is all appearance and has no real capabilities. I think we are now at a true nadir for humanity. Creating technology which seems to have immense monetary value but no real meaningful function.